The prevalent challenges within the livestock subsector are being highlighted as the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, in collaboration with the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, has undertaken an extensive assessment delving into the current state of the pork and ginger subsectors. Key stakeholders, including both pork and ginger producers, came together to examine their respective value chains and to proactively tackle the issues plaguing the sector. Agricultural Value Chain Development Specialist attached to the FAO, Jefferson Jaikasun, notes that this partnership is pivotal in not only addressing the pressing concerns, but also developing sustainable solutions. He explains that this collaboration will build the capacity for value chain development to improve the supply of high potential commodities within the agricultural sector. By looking at the performance of the value chain as a whole, the solutions generated by this mix, by this cross-section of stakeholders, will be essential, realistic, but based upon what the most immediate needs are. This therefore creates a sense of ownership, a sense of responsibility among actors like yourself who have a role to play for this value chain to ensure the success and to enable it to thrive. By demonstrating the usefulness and efficiency of solutions, what are their practices, technologies, whatever is suggested by the relevant stakeholders, it might even be the need for financial investment, this adapted way of working systematically across an entire system uh, illustrates that um, saying that most of us might know. You, te- you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, but when you teach a man to fish, you feed him for life. Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Barrymore Felicier, says the livestock subsector is integral to the agriculture sector as a pillar for food security and rural development. Felicier expressed gratitude to the FAO for their continuous assistance as the Agriculture Ministry works towards implementing the Livestock Development Master Plan and providing farmers with the necessary assistance to create a successful livestock sector. An analysis of our food import bill shows that the import of meats are only second to agri-processed foods. And among agri-processed foods, juices are among the highest we see on the import bill. With the import of pork and chicken being dominant. Further, in keeping with our CARICOM 25 by 25 commitment, I think Mr. Jackson tried to reference that, of, of reducing our food import bill by 25% by the year 2025, we have deliberately focused on the pork value chain to reduce the imports and enhance our food security. In the upcoming months, as the assessment progresses, stakeholders and the broader public can anticipate concrete and substantial measures being implemented to enhance and revitalize the agriculture sector. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Anton reporting.